This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I didn't breathe. George Floyd. Uh, I'm going to in Washington, D.C. We're going to do something that uh, people have to see before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a man for a man. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. and boldly. Stupid. What do you think are the problems in the Middle East? Well, I mean, a lot of wars and like unstable governments. Like, I mean. Assad being in like power, that's really bad. Civil war going on there, it's really affecting people. ISIS obviously is the problem too. So, and what do you think Trump can do about those issues that the current administration can't do? Um, he can be like not a, he won't be afraid to address the actual problem, which is like Islamic extremism. He will address it. He'll confront it like head on. He'll probably like increase military action. I'm not sure what his exact statement on the issue was, but I'm pretty sure. He'll do more than like the current people. They're not really doing anything at all as of now, besides like light bombing. Do you think they should uh, keep the Muslims out or, or tag the Muslims and follow them in the states? Uh, for the ban, I would say like for the temporary ban, like I would agree with that. Again, it's not like anything like against the religion. It's just like a safety issue. You can't let these people in that might be extremists. Why would you let like a broad generalization of like letting these people in? Like keep them out, solve the issues, and then we'll be fine. Oh, it's a violation of his First Amendment rights. It's like, well, we don't support hate speech. None of us here support hate speech. We, we don't. If we started saying the same things about them, they would consider it hate speech. So it's clear that we don't support hate speech. If it's against us, we don't support it at all. That's why we don't like saying the, thing, the same things back to them because we felt that pain. We don't want to put that pain back out there because what's it going to do? Cause us more pain. That's why we say choose love over violence. Choose love over Trump. When we say love Trump's hate, it doesn't mean enjoy Trump's hate. It means respond with love. I mean, it took a long time from the 60s, but we finally got to the point where we're allowed to protest and there's not a police dog gripping my face. I really think that the way he divides people into class and race is um, really difficult. I think he oftentimes uses a lot of different minority groups such as Muslims and Mexicans and even women as a scapegoat and to try to turn Americans into thinking that there's a problem with a specific group of people instead of a bigger problem inside of America. Donald Trump claims to be a Republican but he's obviously a Democrat, isn't he? Some things. <laughs> he's a Democrat. He changes his stance so he can run Republican. He's not a true Republican. He's a Democrat. He's always been a Democrat. He did say a long time ago if he ever ran for president he'd run as a Republican because Republicans are stupid. <laughs> Where did you hear that? Um, YouTube. <laughs> uh, tonight we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.